In this video, we are discussing features of Apache Spark and there are 8 different features we are going to introduce to you. So features of Apache Spark, we are having speed, reusability, advanced analytics, we are having in-memory computing, real-time stream processing, we are having lazy evaluation, dynamic in nature and also fault tolerance. So these are the 8 different features Spark is having. So let us discuss one by one. At first, we are starting with the speed. We know that this Spark is actually lightning fast cluster computing technology and it supports in-memory computation. So that's why its computation is 100 times faster than the other technologies available. So Apache Spark has a high data processing speed by reducing the number of read-write operations on disks, it can be 100 times faster in memory. So, because here we have minimized the read-write operations on the disk, so the computations are getting done in memory, so that's why it is 100 times faster. Next one is the reusability. Spark codes can be easily converted to batch processing or join stream on historical data and that's why it is having the high reusability. Next one is the advanced analysis. Advanced analysis means there are different tools which are uh, dedicated to do specific works in Apache Spark. So in, a, in our Apache Spark components, we have shown you that in the ecosystem, there are six different components are there and those components where those tools are dedicated for different kinds of analysis oriented activities. So there are different tools which are dedicated to do specific works in Apache Spark and some of them are machine learning library also known as MLlib where having the graphics processing tool also known as GraphX and etc. Next one is in memory computation very important feature. A at the Spark works on data which are stored in the memory. We know that memory accessing time will be quite less compared to the disk accessing time. So as the computation is get, getting done into the memory, that means the data will be available in the memory and during processing when the intermediate data will be produced, intermediate results will be produced and they will be also kept in the memory. So at the Spark works on data and which are stored in the memory, so it helps to increase the processing speed. Next one is the real time processing. We can do real-time processing in Spark. It is one of the advantages of Spark over Hadoop and it can process only the present data. So that means real-time processing means depending upon the present input, the processing will be done, the analysis will be done and outputs will be obtained. Next one is the lazy evaluation. The Spark transformation does not change the data on the go and only when one action is triggered then only the changes will be done on the actual data. So it is not it is not getting done before initiation or before triggering of any action. When the action will be triggered, then only the respective changes will be done on the actual data. Next one is the dynamic in nature. So there are 80 high level operations are present in Spark. So 80 high level operations are present in Spark. So we can build parallel applications in it. So applications will be working in parallel and simultaneous. Next one is about fault tolerance. Using Spark's code abstraction RDDs, we can handle different errors. We know that in case of RDD, it is nothing but one data structure where one data set will be divided and will be distributed onto multiple different servers. As a result of that, the probability of data loss has got reduced and that's why the system is known as fault tolerance. So it is, it is, uh, it reduces the data loss in our Spark system. So these are the different eight features of Sp Apache Spark, which we have discussed in this video. Thanks for watching this video.